Hey everybody, it's John Brewster from Form.io. Welcome to the first lesson in the series about how to build an app with Form.io and AngularJS. In this lesson, we are going to show you how to get the Yeoman Generator set up, generate the Gulp Angular app template, then make sure that it's working. After we do that, we're going to replace most of the Angular app with ours and get a basic authentication system into place. We have a lot to do, so let's get started. First, let's download Yeoman and then the Gulp Angular generator for Yeoman. I'm going to assume that you already have Node and NPM installed on your computer and that you have it updated to the latest LTS version, which at the time of this recording is 4.4.3. So let's start up by bringing up the terminal and typing in sudo npm install dash g yo gulp bower and then hitting enter. Sudo may or may not be necessary for you depending on how you have your system set up. This may take a minute to download so I will pause the video and return when they are done. After those finished downloading we're going to install the generator that we need to generate the app template so we're going to type in sudo npm install dash g generator dash gulp dash angular. Once that finishes downloading, we're going to create a new project folder and then CD into that folder we just created. From there, we're going to run yo gulp dash angular. The first question asks us which version of angular we want. Let's take the newest one in this case. The second question is going to ask us what angular modules we would want out of this list. Let's go ahead and take animate, sanitize, and aria. After that, it's going to ask us if we want jQuery. Yes, we do, because we are going to use angular bootstrap so we will take the 2.x version. We aren't going to need a REST library, so HTTP is enough. Next, we will take UI Router. We will take Bootstrap and Angular UI Bootstrap. In this project, we aren't gonna to worry too much about the details, so we're going to stick to the Node SAS version. We are going to stick to ES5 in this tutorial. Lastly, we're going to say no to templating engines in this tutorial. After that, it's going to npm install and bower install for us, which is nice. That should take a moment, so I will pause and come back when it's complete. Once that's done, we can check and see if it's working by typing in gulp serve. Awesome, so that's working. Now let's go in and gut it a little bit so we can build our admissions platform. Let's start by going into the source directory and taking everything out other than the index.scss. Next, we're going to take out the Assets folder and the favicon. Now, let's create an app.js file within the app folder. In here, let's go ahead and declare this app and name it Student Admissions. Next, let's go to the index.html page and change the ng app to say student admissions. Now, let's put the only script tag that we're going to need, which is for the app.js file, at the bottom of the body. Just to make sure that everything is now working, let's go ahead and put a huge h1 out there that says test to make sure everything works. Great, it works. 
Now let's make a folder inside the source directory called views, then a directory within that called user. Within that user directory, create three files, auth.html, adminlogin.html, studentlogin.html, and then we need one last one, studentregister.html. So that's actually four. Let's, these are going to be the files that we use for authentication files. Remember when I said that there were some things that you have to remember that's specific to ng Formio, this file path is one of them. For authentication in form.io, you must use the file path fuse forward slash user forward slash whatever you're going to name that file. When we get there in a minute, you will see what I mean though. Let's get back to it though. Right now, I'm going to add some HTML code into our index page and our auth.html page to speed things up. But just know that I didn't do anything that has to do with form.io to these files. Let's go ahead and let end our lesson here. We got the platform all set up and ready to get the auth working. In the next lesson, we're going to talk about ng Formio Helper and how that's going to help us implement and configure authentication. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe and leave a comment below if you have any questions, we would love to answer them. Let's see you in the next lesson.